A Louisville woman is killed in an overnight traffic accident in the south end. And one person is killed, others left homeless after a multi-alarm fire in the Shelby Park neighborhood. Good evening, I'm Natasha Collins. And I'm Steve Bergen. Bill Christie, the only person injured in last night's fire, died around noon today at University Hospital. Haley Lampert is live at the fire scene on Shelby Parkway. She joins us with more on tonight's big story. Haley? Steve and Natasha, this is what's left of the massive fire that broke out here last night. Now, firefighters are still on the scene. They've been putting out hot spots throughout the day today and keeping the scene secure while arson investigators continue to try to figure out how this all started. I don't think it's really hit me yet. I don't think it's really hit any of us completely. It hasn't hit the tenants who lived here and the artists who worked here that nothing is left. A fire broke out just before 11 Saturday night, destroying a warehouse with an art studio inside, a two-story apartment building, and damaging nearly a dozen other nearby buildings. It also sent one man to the hospital with severe injuries. A university hospital official has confirmed that man has since died. Friends identified him as Bill Christie and say he had been living in a mobile home inside the warehouse. We were very close with Bill. Uh, he's a good friend and, and we all loved him dearly. Aaron Conaway is one of the artists who worked out of the studio called the Louisville Assembly of Vanguard Art or the Lava House. And pretty much everything inside the building is, is just completely gone. If it wasn't metal, it's, it's just history. Pretty early in the fire, we had a collapse on one side of the building. Uh, we had some of the roof collapse in. And then due to the amount of fire that was in the building, uh, what our goal was is to stop it from spreading further down the street. A team of 75 firefighters got the fire contained but didn't get it under control for several hours. On Sunday, arson investigators returned to the scene trying to figure out what caused the fire as they sorted through a smoldering pile of rubble and ashes. It's going to be a huge loss, absolutely, and uh, I guess just time will tell. Something, something will rise out of the ashes, I'm sure. Now, fire officials say they're still looking into whether arson is a possibility here. The Red Cross was out here last night assisting any tenants who were displaced by the fire. Live on Shelby Parkway, Haley Lampert, WLKY News Channel 32. All right, thanks a lot, Haley. A 50-year-old woman was killed over...